we are on SP 47 and I'm looking at this problem. It's saying that um, there's a builder who's buying lots of property. These are the sizes of the lots and I have to organize the information in the line plot. And then I have to find the average size of the lots. Okay, so a line plot I know has um, different dots on um, how, how many there are of a certain thing. So I have a half, a third, and a sixth, and one third. So a half, a third, one sixth. I don't see anything else. Okay. Um, and I need to put these in order, right? So if this is zero, and this is one, this would be where half is, and this would be where um, a sixth is, and a third. Okay, so now I'm going to put how many there are. So let me move this over. So I like to count. Oh, let's start with the sixth place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm going to draw six dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to do the third. Count them. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to do three dots. One, two, three, and I'm going to do the halves. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do six of those dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and now it wants to know what's the average size. So average means you add all your numbers up. I add all these numbers up, and then I divide by how many numbers there are. Okay. I could add all these up, so let's see, one six, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. If I have something cut into sixths, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those pieces, that equals one whole, okay? If I have a third, one, two, three, so if I have something that's cut into thirds, and I have three of those pieces, one, two, three, I also have a whole, okay? Now, if this, these are halves, I know that these two halves equal one whole, these two halves equal one whole, and these two halves equal one whole. So I can add this all up. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like I have five is my total when I add them all up. And I have to now divide by how many terms I have. So let's, I know there's six dots here and six dots here and three dots here. So six, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have um, that over 15, basically. Okay. And I can just reduce that. You can also divide, but this is the same thing. It, it Division is, fractions are division. I would divide those both by five and get one third. So one third an acre is the, um, the average size. Now the line plot shows the weights of bags of beans. What is the average weight of the bags? So again, I'm going to take these numbers, add them all up, and then divide by how many I have. All right, let's see if there's an easier way to add these than just adding them all up. I think instead of writing one sixth plus one sixth, I'm gonna write two sixths. And then I think instead of writing one third plus one third, I'm gonna write two thirds. And then here, I think I'm going to write, I know that equals one, and I know that equals a half, so I'm gonna add and a half. And then this one, um, 
let's see. Mm, I think one, two, three, four. If I had two thirds times four, I think I'm just going to do it like this. I would have eight thirds. Let me add eight thirds there. And then add five sixths. All right, I'm going to add my two sixths and five sixths first because they are the same. I can add those fractions together. Five plus two is seven sixths. I'm going to worry about these improper fractions later. I'm going to add my two thirds and my eight thirds, and that would be ten thirds plus one and a half. All right, now I have something smaller. So I'm going to take this and make it an improper fraction just because I have a bunch of improper fractions and I'll fix it later. I have 7 sixths and 10 thirds and this would be 3 halves. Add those up to make the denominators common and I see that 6 would work. So I would multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2 to get 20. And I would multiply here the numerator and denominator by 3 to get 9. So uh, 7 plus 9 is 16, plus 20 is 36 over 6. And then that divides equally into 6. And um, it wants to know the average, so after I add, net, net, then I divide by how many terms I have total. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I would take 6 and I would divide it by 12. And 6 divided by 12 also looks like this. So that reduces to 1 half, is the average weight. Let's take a look at number three. Amy filled bags with mixed nuts. The weights of the bags are all of these. I have to organize this information into a line plot and then find the average weight of the bags, kind of the same as I did above. So I'm going to write down my terms first. I got an eighth. I see an eighth. I see a fourth. I see a half. And those are all the numbers I see. So I got to put these in the correct order. My half could go here, my fourth here, and my eighth here. I just have to put them in order from smallest to largest. Let's start with the eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of these. I'm going to draw eight dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to do my one-fourths. One, two, three, four. Let me check if I have any missing. I have four of these. One, two, three, four. And lastly, my halves. So one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now I have to find the average weight. Average means you add all the numbers up together and then divide by how many terms there are all together. So I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add right here because this is kind of easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If there's eight one eighths, you have eight over eight, which is equal to one whole. And if there's four, one, two, three, four, one-fourths, then you have four over four, which is also equal to a whole. And with this, I know that these two halves and these two halves equal two wholes. So I've got one, two, three, four pounds total. And I'm going to take my four pounds, and I'm going to divide it by how many terms there are all together. So I have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That has 16 terms all together, so I can do that, and that reduces to one-fourth. So the average rate, weight of the bag is one-fourth. And there's your answers for SB 47.